All right, so in this section, we discuss the Mayan numeral system. And I love starting with the Mayans because they didn't use digits, they used objects. So even though it was a counting system, they used the objects of stones, sticks, and shells. So the first thing we want to notice is that the ba Mayan numeral system is a base 20 system. A base 20 system means it has the digits or place um, digits between 0 and 19. So it's really important to understand that the base, whatever the base is, it's always 0 through 1 less than that, right? So here notice base 20 is 0 all the way to 19. It doesn't include 20. It goes from 0 to 19 because that's 20 digits in a base 20 um, counting system. So let's look at base 10 one more time. So base 10, again, if we look at the digit 0, 1, 2, com, all, dot, 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 all the way to 9, right? We don't, have, we don't see 10 as the digits, right? Our digits start at 0 and then 1 less the base system. So we don't really, some students are, some students say, well, how do we write 19 with the place value? Well, we don't. We use symbols. But we can use our num numeral that we're used to to replace it. Like, for example, if I see a stick and two stones, I can just put seven and then maybe later on write, a draw a stick and two stones. So one thing we need to see is that a shell represents, um, let me move up. So here are some uh, numeral system facts about the Mayans. So once again, we have the horizontal bar, a dot, and a shell, meaning in, back in the Mayans, when they were counting a base 20, they used a stick, a stone, and a shell. Um, a horizontal bar represents the quantity 5. The dot represents the quantity 1. And a shell represents 0. The Mayan numeral system place values have a vertical orientation where the place value increases from the ones place from the bottom up. So it counts here where this is going to be the ones place and then it incre the place value increases. For every group of five dots, it becomes a horizontal bar. And for four horizontal bars, it converted to one stone and it goes into the next place value. So it's kind of like us, if we have 10, we don't write 10 in the digit, right? We write zero and then we carry a one over when we're adding. Like for example, if I had 13 plus nine, we know that nine plus three is 12, but we don't write 12 here, right? We, no, 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 you're like, no, no, don't do that, darling. Put a two here and carry up one to the tens place. So that's exactly what this is saying here. It's saying if you have four bars in a place value, then you're going to convert it as one dot and then carry over that into the next place value. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what one of these numbers looks like. Notice that we have a vertical form Right here we have a stick and two stones, three sticks, two sticks and two stones. Well, if we looked at this, and, and I, I can't write that on my check, right? <laughs> like I can't, if I'm writing a check, I can't put stick and two stones and three, here, here you go to the bank. They're gonna be like, what is this, right? So let's go ahead and find out what this number actually represents in base 10. Remember that this is a base 20 number. So here is, um, 15, right? 5, 10, 15. Well, we don't have 15 as like one place value, right? But in base 20, we do. So we have to remember we're counting in base 20 where all our digits are 0 through 19. But I want to represent this in a base 10 number. So how do I do that? Well, if I go back to the previous section where I was expanding numbers in base 10, where I identified each digit for each place value. And then I multiplied each digit with its place value and took the sum. 
right? And that's how I would get that. That's exactly the process. We're going to we're going to first build our table and identify each digit with its corresponding place value, multiply each digit with its place value, and then add and then we get a base 10 number. So that process that I emphasized so much in the previous video is now going to be a process that we're going to use in a different base system. Remember the problems change, but methods don't. The exponents don't change, but the base does. So let's follow this same procedure. So the first thing I do in the Mayan um, system is I put the digit on one side and the place value on the opposite side. Because these numbers are vertical, we know that the most bottom symbol with white space in between, that bottom symbol is the ones place. So let's go ahead and start there. That place value is the ones place, which is 20 to the zero because 20 to the, remember the exponent, it always starts at zero. 20 to the zero is one. So the ones place is always the ones place, but we have to write it in its base. So as we're base 20, start the X, remember the base changes, exponents don't, start the base at the base you're in, and to the power starting at zero. Now let's move up, keep the base, increase the power. So the next one above it would be the 20 to the first. Well, notice 20 to the first is 20s. So it's the 20s place now, not the tens, but the 20s. And then the third one up is 20 squared. So 20 squared is 400. So that's the 400s place. You have just counted in base 20. Now you're saying I have the ones place, the 20s place, the 400s place. Isn't that so cool? All right, what digit does it represent? Well, a stick and two stones, remember a stick is five and a stone is one. So we here we have seven in the ones place. A stick represents five, so I have 15 in the twenties place, and a digit is, um, the, the four hundreds place is five, ten, five, ten, eleven, twelve. So if I drew the, the table here, and I put, here's, um, uh, one second, sorry. Let's do this. The place value here and digits on the bottom as usual, it would look like this, right? I would have 20 to the zero, 20 to the first, and 20 squared. And the digit would be 7, 15, and 12. Now what I can do is that same process. Take each digit, multiply it by its um, place value, and then add them all up. So here we'll get 12 times 20 squared plus 15 times 20 to the first plus 7 times 20 to the zero. And let's go ahead and reduce this a little. Let's simplify it. So 20 times 400 plus 15 times 20 plus 7 times 1, right? That's the ones place. And if I keep going, I get 4,800 plus 300 plus 7. And putting this all together, we get 5,107 in base 10. So let me write a note to you. Okay, so then we say that um, the Mayan number right, um, is equivalent to one, uh, 5,107 in base 10. That's the idea. And here, notice we're going from a base 20 to base 10. So when we're going from a different base to base 10, we multiply and add. And you can only imagine how we're going to get from a base 10 to a different base um, 
by doing the opposite, right? Dividing and subtracting. So we get to learn that a little bit later. But for now, we're going to always to go into a base n and go to base 10, right? Base 20 to base 10, we multiply and add. So that's just the process. It's really simple, but the most challenging part is to re reframe your thoughts about counting it only in base 10, right? Let's count in base 20. Remember, bases will change, exponents don't, methods uh, the problems will change, but the methods don't, okay? So let's try one more. So what is the value of this number that's shown in vertical form? Well, the first thing you'll want to do is have place value, digits, and let's go ahead and identify the place value. We're counting in base 20. We'll start with the ones place at the very bottom. So we have 20s to the 0, 20 to the 1st, and 20 squared. The digits I see, the shell was 0, a stick is 5, and a stick and two stones is 7. So once again, if I did the table with digit on the bottom and place value on the top, Right, I have the one, uh, the ones place, the twenties, and the four hundreds place. The digits are zero, five, and seven. Just do the same process again. Take each digit and multiply it by its place value, and add them up. And then we go from a number from base twenty into base ten. Okay, so this is seven times twenty squared plus uh, 5 times 20 to the first plus 0 times 20 to the 0. Then let's simplify. So then we get 7 times 400 plus 5 times 20 plus 0 times 1. Okay, and we can keep going. 2800 plus 100 plus 0. And so here we get 2900 or 2,900 in base 10. So once again, from base 20 to base 10. So what does this mean? This means the base 20 number, that is 0, 5, 7, is equivalent to the base 10 number two thousand nine hundred so what is zero five seven in base twenty is two thousand nine hundred in base ten now if i wrote a check in base twenty with a shell a stick and a stick and two stones that's actually quite a bit of money, right? That's actually, I wrote you a $2,900 check, right? So again, base 20 um, has a lot more digits included than base 10. Okay, and so now let's try one with an extra place value. Once again, we'll do place value on the left and digit on the right. And the place value will always start at the ones. and digits on the right. So um, four stones, five, six, um, nine, and then zero is a shell. Now, significant digits haven't come in yet. So some of you are like, well, why is zero in the lead? Because they didn't have significant digits. And so they wanted to see a digit there in that place value. So they used a shell. So if I wrote this in its table form, And then again, place value on the top, digit on the bottom. We have um, the place value, the ones, the 20s, the 400s, and now 20 cubed, which is the 8,000s place. I know, right? And then we have 4, 6, 9, and 0. Once again, we apply the process. We multiply each digit with its place value, and then we add them up. 
So we'll take 0 times 20 cubed plus 9 times 20 squared plus 6 times 20 to the first plus 4 times 20 to the 0. And so um, we know that 0 times 20 cubed, so that's 20, 0 times 8,000 plus 9 times 400 plus 6 times 20 plus 4 times 1. Okay, so we automatically can see that this is going to be 0. So we have 0 plus 3600 plus 120 plus 4. And just adding those all up, we get 3724 in base 10. Again, I just want to emphasize that this is from base 20 to base 10. And again, we could just go ahead and say that a base 20 number 0964 is equivalent to 3,724 in base 10. So again, if I wrote you a check in base 20 and put 0,964, hey, that's a good chunk of money, right? $3,724. So even though they're, we're counting in a different base system, we can always find its representation in base 10, which we're used to. And we do that by just adding, multiplying, and adding, right? Taking a place value with those digits, multiplying, and then adding them all up. But we can find it and have an idea of what the number looks like in base 10 by seeing the equivalent number. So we know now that 3,724 is equivalent to 0,964 in base 20.